Welcome to Airborne Lab's mini bulk tank for vaporized liquid CO2 sampling using ISPT grade MOB poly bags. Warning Before sampling, review the MSDS information on liquid CO2. Sampling must be performed in a well ventilated area by personnel trained in handling pressurized cryogenic gases. Safety glasses, cryogenic safety gloves, and other necessary equipment must be worn. Remove the mini bulk tank's brass plug located on the mini bulk tank's pressure builder assembly and securely store it. Next, connect the supplied PTFE taped female quick connect fitting to this port. Then attach the vapor pressure regulator to the female liquid CO2 source quick connect port by pushing the outer case of the female back to expose the ball bearings. Next, plug in the vapor pressure regulator to an appropriate earth grounded outlet and allow 20 minutes for full warm up. After the liquid port connected vapor pressure regulator has fully warmed, Set its pressure regulator fully outward so that no pressure will be initially delivered. Close the vapor pressure regulator's ball valve at this point. Then attach the liquid phase only marked T fitting to the vapor pressure regulator's ball valve outlet. Open the petcock valve located just before the mini bulk tank's pressure builder unit. This allows the liquid CO2 sample to enter the vapor pressure regulator and be flash vaporized within it. The mini bulk tank's pressure should now register on the vapor pressure regulator's inlet pressure gauge. Next, set the pressure regulator to deliver 20 psig. Then crack open the ball valve to initiate a good steady flow of flash vaporized liquid CO2 gas. Let the entire vapor pressure regulator T-fitting assembly purge for about one minute. While maintaining a steady gentle CO2 purge, remove and carefully store the MLB's port cap. Next, with one hand holding the lower portion of the MLB's valve, use the other hand to open the MLB's upper valve head by turning the valve knob quarter turn counterclockwise. Then connect the MLB side port to the short, stiff FEP section of the T fitting. The MLB should now begin to fill at a steady pace. This filling process can be accelerated if needed by gently pinching the soft tie-gone part of this T fitting. Fill the bag to near full, approximately 80% max. Then disconnect the bag from the T-fitting. Purge the bag of all CO2 by gently pressing it. Do not overfill an MLB as this can cause it to leak or violently rupture.
Repeat this fill flush process. This filling process can be accelerated if needed by gently pinching the soft tie on part of this tea fitting. Fill the back to near full, approximately 80% max. Then disconnect the back from the tea fitting. After two fill purge steps, reattach and fill the MOB to near full, approximately 80%. While holding the lower valve body securely with one hand, use the other hand to close the back valve knob clockwise until it is snug. Then detach the MOB and gently squeeze to check for leaks. Leaks will be noted by back deflation. Immediately label the MOB with all sample identification information, including that the sample was taken from the liquid side of the mini bulk tank. Replace the MOB support cap and place the sample filled MOB bag and the analysis authorization form in the upper tray. Repeat this process for the second MLB bag. While maintaining a steady gentle CO2 purge, remove and carefully store the MLB's port cap. Next, with one hand holding the lower portion of the MLB's valve, use the other hand to open the MLB's upper valve head by turning the valve knob quarter turn counterclockwise. The MLB should now begin to fill at a steady pace. This filling process can be accelerated if needed by gently pinching the soft tie on part of this tea fitting. Fill the back to near full, approximately 80% max, then disconnect the back from the tea fitting. Purge the back of all CO2 by gently pressing it. Do not overfill an MLB as this can cause it to leak or violently rupture. Repeat this fill flush process. This filling process can be accelerated if needed by gently pinching the soft tie on part of this tea fitting. Fill the back to near full approximately 80% max, then disconnect the back from the tea fitting. After two fill purge steps, reattach and fill the MOB to near full approximately 80%. While holding the lower valve body securely with one hand, use the other hand to close the back valve knob clockwise until it is snug. Then detach the MOB and gently squeeze to check for leaks. Leaks will be noted by back deflation. Immediately label the MLB with all sample identification information, including that the sample was taken from the liquid side of the mini bulk tank. Replace the MLB support cap and place the sample filled MLB bag and the analysis authorization form in the upper tray. Next, shut off the petcock valve and bleed off all line pressure. 
Ensure that the vaporizer's pressure regulator is turned all the way outward so that no pressure will be initially delivered. Close the vapor pressure regulator's ball valve. Remove the teeth fitting and replace all small accessories back into the supplied plastic container. Reinstall the brass cap onto the ball valve of the vapor pressure regulator. Disconnect the vapor pressure regulator from the electrical source. Disconnect the vapor pressure regulator from the female liquid CO2 source quick connect port. Repack all equipment items back into their designated lower tray slots within the shipping case. Remove the quick connect female fitting from the mini bulk tank. Replace the mini bulk tank's brass plug. Replace all small accessories back into the supplied plastic container and repack all equipment into their designated lower tray slots within the shipping case. Reinstall the top tray containing the MLB sample bags and the sample authorization form into the shipping case. Use FedEx Express overnight service to return these non-HAS samples to ALI for testing. Thank you for participating in the mini bulk tank for vaporized liquid CO2 sampling using ISBT grade MLB poly bags. Questions can be directed to your instructor or sent to Airborne Labs.